Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, and welcome back to a brand new NBA 2K22 current gen video. And today, I'm going to be going over the best way to quick stop in 2K22. If you guys are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like on today's video. That would be great. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so kicking things off right here, 2K22 made it super 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 easy to quick stop this year because you really don't need a move i mean in previous 2k's like 2k20 2k21 you had to do a certain move to quick stop really fast every single time but luckily in 2k22 it is super super simple guys so literally all you want to do is if you're running to a side to quick stop like that to get a really fast stop and pull off a shot all you got to do is let go of literally every button on the controller and then hold square you got to give it a tiny bit of a buffer to register but you can't just like let go and then shoot immediately but it's pretty responsive in 2k22 you can be running to a side let go pull up a shot and just like that you stopped and put up a shot so this game made it really easy to quick stop there are still ways to do it that don't involve just like letting go of all the buttons but it's still pretty easy the popular method in 2k21 was like flicking the right stick to the opposite way you were going so if i'm going to go to the right you would flick the right stick to the left and you will get a move that looks like that and you can quick stop off of that that still works it's a good move to do so if you do want to quick stop using the 2k21 method just follow this step if the ball's in my right hand i'm going to run to the left and then flick the right stick horizontally to the right so i'm gonna go like this right stick to the right and shoot off of it just like that that quick step method still works but honestly guys there really is no need to do all that fancy stuff when you can literally just run to a side let go of all the buttons and shoot the ball i'm really happy that it's not so difficult this year because like in real life just stopping to put up a shot and not fading is not that difficult so i just feel like it's a lot better that 2k did it like this this year but again you can still do the old method balls in my left hand i'm gonna run to the right side and then flick the right stick horizontally to the left i'm gonna do that right here if you stick to the right, put up a shot, there it is. An easy quick stop in 2K22, guys. It's really not that complicated, but this is necessary. Stopping on a dime is probably the most important thing to learn besides like shooting the ball well, obviously, because if you cannot stop on a dime, you will not be able to shoot well in 2K22 and you won't be able to get open as much as you could if you learned just how to quick stop in 2K22. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to quick stop in 2K22. It's super simple, guys. There are basically two ways to do it. You can either just do the regular, let go of all the buttons and then shoot basically the most easy way to do it in the game or if you like the 2k21 method you can do that as well by flicking the right stick horizontally to the opposite ball hand both ways work well both ways are effective if you did enjoy today's video make sure to hit that subscribe button down below we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers and of course guys make sure to drop a like on today's video that would be great and if you guys do want to watch more of my nba 2k22 content i'm gonna leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that i think you guys will really really enjoy so have a great rest of your day guys it's been story of sam and i'm out peace